Hi YouTube, welcome to a special episode today of the winter training. Today we are doing an unboxing just received in the mail from Amazon.ca. This is a Wahoo RPM cycling cadence sensor. So one thing I was missing from my bike was a, a cadence sensor. So really thought for the winter training it's all about cadence, um, getting up to that threshold. So today we're going to unbox, so to speak, this little package and we're going to install it on the bike, give it a quick test. Let's see how it goes. All right, so here we go. So we got the Wahoo RPM cadence sensor. Comes with a, a sensor. It's already, uh, seems that the Bluetooth is on. It's beeping the blue already for some reason. It's got the, the holder to go on your, your crank. It's got some zip ties to keep it nice and tight. Let's open it up, see what we got. See if we can get it all installed on the old road bike. This was $52 Canadian from Amazon.ca. There you see the little sensor. Pretty small. So again, it's a Bluetooth sensor. There we go. So this, that looks like the, the holder where the zip ties are gonna go. And this, some sticky, sticky tabs so it looks like. I'm not sure what this is. This looks like the sensor goes inside here, maybe to protect it from the elements. And then it comes with two zip ties. There we go, two zip ties. So we've got the two zip ties, tape, the sensor, sensor rubber protection and a little a little uh, holder a holder for the sensor so let's read the instructions see what we gotta do okay so let's see if we can set this up got myself i have uh, my iphone so this is an iphone 5s we're gonna turn it on search wahoo search Wahoo Fitness Bluetooth powered. Let's get this. All right, so the app is downloaded. Let's open it up. iPhone powered fitness, Wahoo Fitness. Welcome to iPhone powered fitness. Next, set up your profile. Next. I don't wanna, I don't use Apple's health app, so no, let's not do that. Which are metric, I am English, my height, well let's change, change that, my height is, so I'm five foot eight, I weigh, I think 161, let's say. Next, connect your sensors, add a new sensor, let's see if we can do this without adding it to the Crank. My sensor isn't here. Woo. Let's see, we just move it around and see what'll catch it. Oh, there it is. Wahoo cadence sensor. Save sensor. Wahoo cadence software update. Okay, well, let's do that now. Update. So I guess this is it. Yeah, this is updating the actual firmware inside the sensor. Let's go through this. I think I might put this inside here. It looks like the best way to do it. And then zip tie. It's got two little holes. You can see the two holes there for your zip ties. It looks like the best method. Success, firmware update complete, done. I'm going to be using this for cycling, indoor bike trainer, I'm not going to be using it for a spin class. Done. And then done. Okay, so it looks like we're all set there, so let's just put this onto the crank and then we'll take it for a workout. Okay, so here we go. We're now going to mount the Wahoo cadence sensor onto the non-drive side of 
the crank says to put it on the back of it otherwise it'll cause interference so we're going to put it on the back with the blue with the blue facing out so it's going to be something like that and then we're going to zip tie together so let's do that right now let's get the zip ties in and the zip tie in like that there we go let's get them in roughly one in Two. Let me start tightening them up. Make sure to keep the the, sen the sensor as center as possible in on the crank arm, and then start tightening them up. It looks pretty tight. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Okay, so we'll snip off the excess. Job done. All right, that's connected. Done, let's work out. I'm gonna allow, start. Three, Whoa. two, one, go. And rough. Well, there we go. Let's <laughs> see the sensor is going there. Now this is so this is just a cadence sensor, not a speed sensor. So that's why you're not seeing anything in there. So that seems to be working. So let's pause that up and we will have a shot on the actual rollers. Pause, stop, discard workout. Done, now let's get on the, the rollers and see what's happening. Okay, so here we go. We're now gonna attempt, I'm gonna start on the rollers, start the app. Hopefully you can see the, the RPM is going. So let's Three, start that up. Two. We're going, we're going. And we're up. Oh. Oh. I can't see the sensor, but hopefully you guys can. Alright, let's take 97. 95. Alright, so it's 95. <clears throat> so it's giving me the time. The distance, obviously there's no distance. Pause and stop. And then you can either discard workout, save workout, or return to workout. I'm gonna discard that. And that's it. There we have it. The Wahoo Cadence Sensor. Does exactly what it says. Records your cadence, nothing more. Perfect for me and the indoor trainer, so I can get some training going, some interval training. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next episode.